Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch with a quick heads up news video for you. And that is right now, Free April is going on over at Pluralsight. So if you are looking for some free training right now, may be a good time to check it out. Because for the, the month of April, you can go access all of their courses completely free. Now I did a new sign up on this and 100% it does work. So if you want to, you do not need to do anything other than give them a valid email address. So there's no credit card or anything else required. Basically head on over to the site, sign Sign up now, give them some information. I am Bob Dole at uh, Bob Dole Co. Uh, so it doesn't even really matter what information you give. Just make sure that you give them a valid email address because there is a verification process. And once you are signed up, well, this here is Pluralsight. It is available at Pluralsight.com. Unfortunately, I had to access this in porn mode because once you have logged in, it's impossible to get back to the homepage. It automatically does a redirect for you. But if you want to go ahead and sign up, head on over to Pluralsight.com and and there are a number of different courses on here. So let me just exit out. And now I am back to my logged in account. And here we go. So this is what you get when you log in. Hello, Bob. Uh, and you've got a number of different paths, channels, and so on. The key thing you're probably interested in, you want to come in here and do a uh, browse. Here you can see it's broken down either by paths um, or what you probably want to do is go here to software development. And for the vast majority of you, you are probably most interested in game development. Here you're going to see you have uh, C Sharp, Motion Builder, Sketchbook, SketchUp, uh, and 3D Code. A very weird selection of technologies there. But the ones you're probably the most interested in are going to be either Unity or Unreal Engine Core. So I'll use Unreal as an example. Uh, head on in here, you can see they have 47 courses on Unreal Engine. But you're also going to see some of these are a little strange. For example, Maya Rigging. It uh, doesn't really have anything to do with Unreal Engine specifically, but there are a ton of Maya courses as well. So it's not just game programming. Uh, you've got some stuff here for like the artists as well. Uh, so you, there is quite a bit here from various different skill paths. So let's we go back here, browse again. Uh, we'll go software development. So I'm, I'm just showing you the programming specific stuff. By the way, if you also want to come in and do it by language, you're going to see here you've got things like C Sharp, C++, Go. Uh, no Rust, however, which I find a little bit shocking. But we'll go back here, game development again, and back into the Unreal Engine. As you saw, there were 47 different courses here. Uh, let's say you wanted to get into uh, Unreal Engine Blueprints. We just come on in here. We'll take a look at that. This course is a total of uh, basically four hours. It was done in 2017, so there haven't been a ton of uploads. A cool thing here is you can actually download the course um, if you've got the uh, offline player app. I'm assuming that when your month expires, that's not going to work either. But if you want to bring things on the go or you're going to work offline or whatever, you can download the courses. Otherwise, they're broken down into categories. So for example, let's say I want to learn about Blueprint specifically. Here we are in the Blueprint course. It is again broken down into a number of different lessons. So uh, we got 52 minutes total, but they're about five to seven or eight minutes a piece. Uh, one thing I did find kind of interesting, and I'm going to mute this here. Interesting, my word interesting, I think I mean the words disappointing uh, is when I come down here and look at the settings and I go to quality the best I can get is 720p I have no idea why that would be the case I don't even know for a course made in 2017 why you would be recording at 720p that is just a little bit insane uh, but at the end of the day beggars can't be choosers this is a free selection of courses so I'm not going to fault them there overall now I am a little curious how do I actually find something like Maya by the way they've got things broken down here uh, you, you wouldn't necessarily find it so let's see we, we could do it this way so we go Maya and then we're going to find that there are a number of Maya course there through a number of different paths, like a lot of courses. Let's see what they've got for Blender. Let's see if there's any Blender courses on here. And if you're looking for Blender courses, here again, you've got uh, 30 results from, again, some of these are going to be quite dated, going back to uh, 2014. They bought out another company, something like Skill Path. I've got the name wrong, or Data Path, or data skill or something along those lines. Um, and they merged all of their courseware in here as well. So you're gonna find some of these things are obviously quite old. Uh, and then a couple of them are a little bit on the newer end. So if we wanna just stick to just Blender 2.8, for example, uh, we kind of really, okay, that doesn't make any sense. So those aren't, those aren't valid anyways. Uh, just one little thing. And also for some reason, this is bizarre, uh, Blender results returned what's new in Java Enterprise Edition 8. Okay, uh, that was once I drilled down, so I, I don't know what's going on there. But again, 
Now, there are some interesting things here. A lot of this stuff, even though, you know, you're switched out versions here. For example, designing a low polygon game environment in Blender. Broken down into a number of different... Oh, Digital Tutors. That's who it was. Digital Tutors is the company they bought in the past. Uh, so that that is it. Uh, an interesting option for you out there. Completely uh, free for the month of April. So if you want to get your hands on that, like I said, you got the month of April to check it out. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of their courses in general. I know a lot of them are definitely beginner focused. Focus, but again, that's probably where the biggest audience is as well. You find the majority of tutorials up on YouTube, for example, are also pretty much aimed at beginners. So, uh, yep, that is it. The uh, month of April, we have free plural site training. Uh, let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later.